Hey everyone, it's Joe with Head First Fishing. I just want to take a few minutes today and introduce you to my new best friend, the Sportsman Masters Bay 207. I picked up this boat two and a half, three months ago, and I have been loving it. Uh, this isn't really a review channel, but I thought it would be pretty cool to show you this new rig that I got. Um, and if we could review some of the features that I really, really like about this boat and why I would recommend this boat to a whole lot of people looking for the best bang for your buck in a serious bay boat, fishing boat. One of the biggest reasons I got this boat, or maybe I should say one of the biggest reasons uh, it caught my eye in the first place, was uh, back in my hometown, back in Alabama, I was driving by and I saw these boats out on a lot at a new dealership. And the first thing I noticed was the bow. I like the, the, the uh, keel the knife edge right there on the bottom and then I got a little closer and I noticed the flare. That was what really really sold me on this boat. I love a boat that spits out a lot of water. I like a nice flare and it just shoots the water right off the sides and that's what I like about this boat. Uh, I don't get too much water coming up over on top of me. Uh, don't care what you have you're gonna get some at some point but uh, this boat does a great job at kicking water up and out uh, away from the boat whenever you do hit a wave. And uh, I've got no problem taking this bay boat out in three footers. Um, you want to, you know, typically uh, keep it in calm waters, but if you get a, a squall kicked up or something like that, a pop up thunderstorm like we get in the Gulf of Mexico in those hot summers, um, you know, and the waves start coming up, no sweat with this boat, it just destroys the waves. Um, and uh, you don't really pound too much. It's it's nice. I like it. Uh, I'll bring you in and take a little bit closer look here. We're in the shade today because it's really really hot. But a really really nice flare that comes all the way up, all the way up to the front, and a very very generous casting deck. And you get to take advantage of some of this flare over right here with lots of room to walk around the edge. I'll take you over on the lighted side, maybe you'll see it a little bit better. I think it has beautiful lines, I really, really do. One of the next things I did was get a motor guide wireless trolling motor, and it has a foot pedal along with a handheld wireless remote. It's really cool. Uh, this one's uh, 75 foot-pounds of thrust. It does a great job. Uh, I can typically do two full days of fishing on it before recharging the batteries and that's using a lot of uh, 90 to 100 percent power. Um, so I think it was a good uh, good deal. It's about a thousand dollars on Amazon. A lot of space. Plenty of room to walk around. You can get about a 32 inch long cooler underneath this seat right here. Nice steering wheel with a power knob. A lot of uh, boats before just they didn't put that on there. That was an optional accessory. You had to just put it on yourself. Uh, but they go ahead and give you that. Uh, so that's just a nice little bonus. Nice console, plenty of room. I got a Lowrance Elite 4 HDI, and I also have a Standard Horizon uh, Class D DSC radio. Uh, I actually have to go get my uh, number set up because I do have an SCC license, so I can't uh, go through Boat US. I have to go through someone, uh, the other governing body. Um, you got your switch panel right here, nav, courtesy, lighted live wells. Uh, you got a stereo feature. A horn. Uh, the horn is extremely loud. They give you a plug-in, 12 volt plug-in like you would pull out of your car. I've got my electronics set up right here. My uh, GPS sonar and my radio hooked to accessory number one. Uh, I'm probably going to put a stereo system in this boat. So uh, there's actually, uh, I can hook that here or there. Uh, but there's extra switches already set up you know, for different electronics that you might want to do. This boat actually has three live wells, and that's one of the big things I wanted to talk about. I've got a live well all the way up here, and I usually put my shrimp up in here, 
and uh, that keeps them nice and uh, healthy and lively, ready to be devoured by trout and reds and snook and whatever else. And you got two aft live wells. Great big one back there. And these pumps will keep it nice and full. And you can adjust the openings to control how much flow you get. A lot of boats, they'll give you two in the back or one in the back and one in the front. But this one has actually three live wells, which is really, really awesome because I can have you know, three different type of baits if I want to segregate them. I could have pinfish in one and shrimp in another and greenback pilchards, uh, L live shiners, whatever you want to call them, uh, in another. So you can segregate baits if you want, or you can, you know, you clean it out one day and use it as a cooler. They're all insulated, so that's really cool. Uh, another one of the really cool features as we get into the storage areas. Now, you got your typical rod lockers up here. You know, most bay boats will come sort of rod locker storage compartment you got an anchor locker up there but one really really cool feature of sportsman boats is this right here this little hatch right here in the front of the console this uh, backrest seat this flips open you can put you know I got some junk in there right now some water bottles and sunscreen and I throw my wallet in there my keys easy access to your battery switch right there and then, you know, you can take this cargo net down and get in there and your battery's in there. I got tackle boxes down there. Believe it or not, just a simple, a simple little feature like that makes it, things a lot easier. If you want to go in here and work with wires, you got two different places to come through. So, really, really happy about that. Uh, nice, nice seat, leaning post. So you got flip seats. You just flip them up and down, like so. back up rod holders right here built in one two three four I think this boat's got like 11 or 12 rod holders let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I do believe it's twelve so that's really really nice plenty of rod storage and you can you know put rods in the in the front lockers you also got cup holders there's a cup holder here and there's one on the other side you got two up here in the center console and you've got two in the back now people that don't like to fish but like to cruise and tube water ski and all that stuff or just you know go beach on the boat they're gonna love this feature right here and that is this easy to pop up seat this pops right up and you've got seating one two three the third one right in the console and then when you got more people you just pop this bad boy right here and you got two more so you got five seats uh, you know and you could you could even make this three with a little bit of squeezing but comfortably uh, to the max uh, one two three four five seats with padding for people to sit on and that's really nice uh, there's a lot of bay boats out there that uh, you know, there's really not anywhere nice to sit except for the driver's seat, and that's it. So, Sportsman uh, did a good job with having this set up the way it is. Another cool feature is you got this great big access hatch right here. It's lockable. All these are lockable. And I've got a bait bucket, a cast net. I've got uh, important documents and safety gear back here. You can access your pumps all back in there fuel filters you can flip this up right here and get it to open up even higher but uh, very very generous with the storage capacity and uh, there's nothing I really can't get on this boat um, now let's talk about the engine real quick the engine is a Yamaha F 115 XA I'm pretty sure it's the XA uh, anyway it's a 2014 model and it is their inline four and this thing is extremely smooth extremely quiet uh, you know I just put it through its 25 hour service not a single problem uh, you would expect it to be running good you know it's a brand new motor but um, I've been thrilled with it um, gets great fuel mileage um, uh, 
we'll see how it does in the long term but you know pretty much everybody out there that knows a little bit about boats knows that Yamaha makes a great motor um, you know, who's the best you know that's by opinion but I would say Yamaha is the best uh, Suzuki comes pretty damn close some people will say Suzuki's better but uh, you can definitely look around and, and dealerships and, and boats on the water Yamaha dominates the market but this motor uh, I have complete confidence in it. I know people that run Yamahas, uh, guides, you know, cruisers, stuff like that. Uh, they've had them for over a decade, and they're still going strong. Yep. Like anything else, though, you got to do your maintenance. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. So as long as you got that taken care of, it'll last forever. Anyways, really. uh, thanks for coming by and checking out my boat today, and I look forward to posting more videos about the goings on in St. Petersburg, Florida.